<clears throat> All right, so the next step in this process is uh, now you've got the Boolean and cutout uh, model. We want to basically start cleaning up the mesh and look for any errors. So the first thing we want to do is uh, turn on your show polygroups and then do our auto groups. And we basically want to delete any floating uh, islands or groups on the mesh. So do your auto groups and then select your main one. And then invert your selection. So this stuff we want to delete because your printer is going to spaz out. So we want to delete hidden. And then what we want to do is do a close holes. Just to close any holes that may be in there, and then do another auto groups, and then do another check. Okay, so it looks like we have another uh, floating piece in there that's part of the close groups. So we'll delete that, and then what I suggest you do delete hidden is go down to geometry tab as well and just bear in mind we will be decimating this uh, or I will be decimating this at the end so it's 2.5 uh, so yeah definitely we'll be decimating it for printing uh, but what you want to do is go down to geometry and then mesh integrity and check mesh We've got six edges blah 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 that's fine click on fix mesh Okay, and then click on auto groups again and just double check what's going on. And okay, so that's fine. It looks like uh, that's all fixed. And now we want to, the hard part, <laughs> the fun part, is we want to turn on double face and then basically hide the back here. And we want to use uh, Sculptress Pro to basically get rid of these really deep undercuts so this is typ typically what I do is uh, I'll go in here with Sculptress Pro and then uh, smooth out these parts <coughs> so hopefully you can see what's going on uh, you've got <coughs> weird errors like this as well that should be smoothed out definitely want to be smoothing out or cutting this out basically so the hole isn't so deep so what I would do is use my selection and we'll turn on Sculptress Pro and I have presets here for my Sculptress Pro but uh, you just, just pick something that you can use with your smooth brush to smooth out the hole. See, see how easy that is to smooth out with Sculptress Pro? If you didn't have Sculptress Pro, it would just turn into a big weird mush like that. Okay, so well, I always use Sculptress Pro for this step. Now the only thing you need to be aware of is uh, when you when you're done and you close out of this right generally what I would do is press the close holes again because sometimes when you use Sculptress Pro with a uh, hidden mesh uh, it doesn't close the edges properly and then when you try and run Sculptress Pro again on another part uh, the the edges don't end up fusing together, so I always just press close holes after I do this, and then I will look for another area to fix, and so forth and so forth. So that's uh, that's basically how I would go about fixing the mesh for printing. We've got some weird. Don't know what's going on here. <laughs> uh, got something weird going on. Not quite 
quite sure what's happening here. So see if we can smooth that out. And you see how that's that's now it's on island. So what I can do is uh, I can simply smooth this out as well. Okay. So what I can do is just go auto groups and then select that main group and then delete the name again. Okay, so that's that little part. And we'll go delete hidden and we'll look for another area to clean up. So this is yeah, this is the really tedious and boring part. <laughs> personally do not like to do but uh, I do it because it means that uh, when I print it or when other people print it I won't have any issues so I can see a few problems here with uh, the boolean <coughs> on the uh, on these hands here uh, so we just isolate this So see all these undercuts. So I want to be smoothing them out. I want to be careful we are not smoothing out too much of the detail. Uh, so uh, use a something wide size that works best for you. Yeah, I'm just going to do this trick. So this whole floating part should be cut out. So I'm just going to use. There we go. I'm just going to use Sculptress Pro to basically cut that bit out as island, and we'll get rid of that using auto groups afterwards. Um, okay. Auto group. Alright, I'm going to delete that hidden. And go and fix these other parts. Do a quick save. So this usually happens when you are uh, boolean, uh, like stuff like insert mesh objects or different subtools, and you try and merge them down, and basically there's gaps in gaps in between the, uh, the different objects. That's that's pretty normal, uh, but you do have to keep in mind that yeah, this will uh, cause problems in the print with the print if you're not careful. Some weird stuff going on here. Uh, so I may need to re sculpt this in, which is fine. Okay. And again, we'll do auto groups. So your selection should be a little bit larger than the area you're working on. So you don't want Sculptures Pro to be working on exactly the same edge as uh, what you're fixing. So always select more than uh, what you're actually working on. Like don't, you know, if I'm working on this selection, I wouldn't be working around here using Sculptures Pro because it's too close to the edge. 
one selecting the center. I'm working on the center and selecting a bigger, bigger area to work on. Save often while you're doing this, uh, because you use your quick save because you know ZBrush can crap up, and especially if you're working with Sculpt Sculptures Pro and then uh, your uh, hidden meshes as well. I find I find yeah ZBrush will crap up most often. <laughs> around this time. Either it won't fuse the edges or it'll just crash. So just be careful and save. Save your work. And yeah, it's, uh, you know, depending on you, on how much of it you want to fix. But I tend to just go through and fix the big errors, like I showed you on those two before. And uh, this seems okay. I do usually smooth out these really deep. Cavities as well. stuff like this, see that? So we want to get rid of that. Of course, every now and then you should uh, spin to the front as well and just check check the front. Make sure you're not killing any details that you actually need to be there. So auto groups is uh, definitely something that you would use all the time during this operation. <coughs> That's just going to delete anything, any of the boogers, boogers I like to call them, that are floating in your mesh. So yeah, that. That's, that's this part, and uh, you know, basically go through and clean up the mesh and the insides of it. And uh, the next step will be basically decimating it and bringing it into Mesh Mixer for hollowing. And then after that, uh, we'll add supports in, uh, in Shooter Box.